Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content at Bailey and Stewart. Today's video is a defined review of their new dynamic collection, which is dropping the date on the screen along with the times that it is dropping. And I don't know right now, but as soon as I do, I will update it right here. Code Bailey will save you 10% off your order. So it does save you money and does help support me and count as an entry to my monthly giveaway. So if you use code Bailey, Again, it'll save you money on your order, but also counts as an entry for my monthly giveaway, which I will have linked down below. Thank you so much for all the support. If you use my code, leave a comment, watch my videos. Like it truly means so much. I love doing these monthly giveaways to just kind of like express how grateful I am for each and every one of y'all. And it's just like a fun way to give back. We have four new dynamic colors coming. So Define is also launching these dynamic long sleeve open back tops. They're crop length. They have removable cups. These had to get shipped separately, so they're not going to arrive before I leave for London. So unfortunately, I cannot pop these in the review. So I'm sorry about that, but got extra small in these. I'm not sure, again, how they're going to fit, but I like that we have a crop top that has like an open back with removable cups inside. If you aren't a sports bra gal, they do have long sleeve options coming in all the colors as well. I'm also going to throw in at the end a quick little review of their limited edition birthday pieces because I was in Scotland when it dropped so I wasn't able to do a YouTube review. So again, that'll be at the end if you're interested in seeing that. Yeah, this launch is for the Dynamic Girlies. I feel like we've gotten a lot of new but also impact lately and I know some of you guys are like, where's the Dynamic? It has arrived and they are in beautiful fall colors. Let's just get on into the review. Olive. We're gonna do color comparisons of olive, pistachio, and then pistachio origin. Fresh green dynamic bra. Or a cute monochromatic look. The cool mint palm green to the olive, very cute monochromatic look. And then the Hannah Pearson green twist front bra. And this is a very fall color palette. And then we have berry. It's exactly how it sounds, like a cranberry color. Again, okay, it's in my top two. I feel like this is a very pretty neutral. You guys know I'm not normally a neutral girl, but I feel like Define doesn't have that many neutrals, like especially in like the impact. I would love a chocolate impact. A neutral, which is called Mocha. Very, very pretty. It's a little bit darker than Feather Beige. And again, we will do color comparisons for the colors that I have. I feel like this is gonna be most similar to Feather Beige, but Feather Beige, again, is a little bit lighter and comes in impact, not dynamic. Mocha to Feather Beige. And then last, we have Navy. So a dark blue. So for the girlies that like darker shades, you've got two, and then for the girlies that like brighter, you've got two as well. Again, just a very fall color palette. Like this is just screaming autumn. For comparisons of navy to sky blue, origin celestial blue, ice mint, ice blue, dark sapphire, cobalt from Laney's collab, the Hannah Pearson blue, enchanted blue, electric blue, and then the Ignite Aqua Revive Electric Blue. The piece is dropping. We have a new Dynamic Twist bra. And then we have the Dynamic 4.5 shorts and then the leggings, which are 22 inseam. Um, we have no cycle shorts, which for me is a bit of a bummer because I feel like Dynamic cycle shorts didn't get enough hype. They got cut. But I, I loved them. I have majority of the colors and I wear them a lot. Like that's definitely my favorite dynamic piece. Um, so I am a bit bummed. So I'm like hoping maybe if like, I'd love to see them come out with like maybe a dynamic 6.5. I feel like maybe people were freaked out because the dynamic cycle shorts were quite long. They were, I think like eight inches maybe. So Definitely longer than I feel like most people like, but I feel like 6.5 would definitely be the sweet spot and in between. Because again, 4.5 shorter do tend to roll, and if you are taller, they're gonna be even shorter. So I just love having the inseam options. And again, I know the cycle shorts didn't do well, but I would love to see them maybe test out a dynamic 6.5 and see if that does a little bit better. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people slept on the dynamic cycle shorts. I loved them, and I am bummed that we don't have like the cranberry and the mocha in the dynamic cycle shorts. 
So I made it shorter. I basically pulled it up to make it like a 6.5 on me. And again, I am 5'4", short torso, and they still worked perfect. And then I was able to get that under glute line to really like accentuate the glutes, but it also helped to make it shorter. So they didn't feel like super short in my opinion. I was able to do my whole workout in them and they didn't roll. So yeah. Also the leggings and shorts do have a different rise. They are still high rise. They're higher, both of them are higher than impact. Impact is definitely more mid rise. These are definitely high rise. And depending on torso, the leggings could be ultra high rise. So I would say impact is more short torso friendly, short glute friendly as well. Whereas dynamic is more long torso friendly and long glute friendly. For these shorts, the rise was eight inches. And then for the leggings, the rise was nine. So you've got a little bit of an inch difference, but they're both high rise for here. So. This is the difference, these are both extra small. This is the 4.5 and this is the leggings. So you have an inch difference in the rise versus the 4.5 and the leggings. But again, both are still high rise. None of them are gonna be as low as impact. But for the dynamic, the scrunch is also different than impact. Okay, so here is what the dynamic scrunch looks like. It is a normal scrunch, but it's Compared to like Alvely Amplify, it is a thicker scrunch. Eight seams right here going down. So again, it is a little bit thicker, a little bit more long glute friendly because of me, I have shorter glutes. So I do get a little bit of extra fabric happening up here. I get that in Lazuli Scrunch Sculpt as well. It's definitely more long glute friendly. The scrunch goes in the cheeks and then you see subtle shading contouring like the Impact. However, the impact has more compression right here, whereas this is a lighter compression, a light lift, whereas this is a in-your-face lift. Here. Um, but also here's, let me show you the waistband. This is impact versus dynamic. On the leggings, the waistband difference. And then the scrunch. The impact scrunch is four way stretch and it is a little bit, yeah, I would say the dynamic goes in the cheeks more than the impact. But again, under here, as you can see, like it goes solid, like you've got room for your glutes and then it goes solid, has very light compression, still very flattering, but this one is higher compression right under the glutes to give more lift. So if you don't like the super compressive or super dramatic lift effect that impact gives, then you'll probably like dynamic more because it's a less, like it's a more subtle lift. Very, very little compression. So I would definitely say true to size in these, I feel like these are a little bit bigger fitting than my impact. Again, they are higher rise. You've got more crotch room right here. I don't get camel toe in these. It's very flattering on the glutes, but if you don't like a thick scrunch, you might not like these. And the material is quite similar to Impact. I would say Impact is a little bit stiffer. It feels a little bit sturdier. This is definitely slicker and stretchier, but still that quite dense, stiff, seamless fabric. Like it's not like an Alpha Amplify where it's like very slick, very soft. Um, very soft and thin like this definitely feels thicker feels sturdier I've never once had any of my impact or dynamic pill So again, I feel like it does hold up a lot better at the gym I can sit on the turf in both of these and not have to worry at all I can put them in the dryer and I've never had an issue with pilling So I do really love that the dynamic fabric is 90% nylon and 10% elastane the logo is on the side and then the back, and then the waistband on the front just goes straight across, like a straight across seam. There's no like scoop. But then the back has a very, very slight glute scoop. V seam on the back. You've got, again, a gusset, no front seam. Inseam is 22. These are definitely stretchier, again, than the impact. So I feel like they come a little bit longer than impact, but I still feel like if you are taller, they might come a little bit shorter. Again, at the design meeting in Scotland, I feel like a lot of us pitched more inseam options, and I know that is something that they are working on. They're working on inseam options and adding more sizes. So that is like the biggest difference from impact and dynamic. 
dynamic, lower under glute compression, stretchier, higher rise, and then the scrunch is different. Goes in the cheeks a little bit more, but I would say thickness is probably the same. Um, but yeah, the scrunches just look different. Like, even though it's less compressive, and it's a more simple like design and look, it's still very, very flattering because you still have kind of that contouring where it goes into like a more dense fabric right under the glutes to still give some shape. And again, still goes in the cheeks, got plenty of room for your glutes. The glute area definitely goes a little bit sheer. If you have a tattoo, you might slightly see it in the lighter shades. But the leg part where it goes a little bit thicker of material, I really wouldn't worry. The leggings in navy. And for the most part, I feel like all of the leggings run the same. They fit the same. I don't notice that like, like a significant size difference between the colors. Wait, I forgot my Define sticker. The waistband doesn't really taper in. I would love if they did kind of taper it in. And dynamic waistband isn't tiered. It's just a vertical ribbed waistband. Waistband is like medium compression. I wouldn't say it's as snatching as like an Alphalete Amplify waistband. Like that waistband is definitely thicker. Probably my least favorite color just because I don't wear navy often. And you guys know I like brighter bottoms to enhance the glutes more. But we will do the sticker test on this one. I have the dark olive, which is a very pretty dark green. And I feel like this is a green that you could definitely do monochromatic looks with like any of their light greens like would i pair that i don't know yeah actually i would the dark olive with fresh spring wait no palm green is this what it's called palm green yeah you've got the define logo on the side and the back the scrunch the v dip and then the subtle contouring the leggings and olive extra small so as you can see i'll also do side by side the waistband is higher than the shorts, again, by an inch. So it goes past my belly button, like my belly button's all the way down here. So I would say for me, if, if you have a shorter torso, these are gonna be ultra high rise, the shorts high rise, and then impact mid rise. So depending on your torso or your preference, if you like higher rise things, you're gonna love these. The leggings also feel like they snatch me in more than the shorts. The leg area, again, is a little bit tighter than the shorts because you have more of that compression fabric. But again, it's not as tight as impact. So I do think you can stay true to size in these. Again, even though it's a more simple design, they are still insanely flattering because it still has, you know, not as much compression or lift as impact, but it's still doing something because it does have a little bit right here. It's more subtle than the impact. But we're gonna put the sticker in. So if you have a tattoo, you might slightly see it wind stretched, but again, I don't even think like that much. I'll just show you, I'm 5'4", so when I pull them in the cheeks, they again become shorter, the fabric is more restrictive than some other seamless brands, but it's very durable, which is what I love. Um, so as you can see, they're 22 inseam. I would say they come again a little bit longer than the impact because they're not as tight, but they are still shorter inseam. So if you're taller, you're gonna see some ankle. That's why we're fighting for you guys to get longer inseams. I still wear my leggings and still really like them but I just know it does bother some people. So I'm 5'4", and this is where the dynamic hits on me. Impact comes honestly a little bit higher. 22 inch inseam. Do the sticker test, I'm in front of a window. So natural lighting. Waistband doesn't roll, stays put. Obviously they're not like lift level as impact. The dark olive and cranberry are gonna be the most squat proof. I still feel comfortable doing legs in mocha. Really wouldn't stress it unless maybe you have like a tattoo. But again, all these colors, I would say you can definitely stay true to size. These maybe if in between size down. No, I, I don't know if I would size up in these because then I feel like it would be way too big. Again, I'm wearing extra small on everything. True to size. They're not as tight as Impact, but I like, I love that compression that Impact gives. I love that lift. But if you don't like that, 
go for dynamic. Then we have the cranberry leggings. Again, we'll do the squat test, but I really wouldn't stress this color. Yeah. This is definitely, this and feather beige are my favorite colors. I feel like they're the most flattering on the glutes. And I just know I will get so much use out of them. Like even these two colors paired together is so dang cute. Like this is just the ultimate fall color. And then this is just a really nice light neutral that again, I can pair with every shade of brown. <laughs> this is cranberry. We will do the sticker squat test. For the shorts, I wanted to do a comparison of the biker or cycle shorts, these aren't really bikers, um, to the 4.5. So again, the waistband of the cycle shorts was the same as the leggings, whereas the 4.5 is a little bit shorter rise and has a shorter waistband. So this is the difference. Again, very similar to the leggings. Um, but length, this is the difference. And also here is navy to sky blue. Shorts are going to be the same squat proofness as the leggings. So I do find these to still roll. I would say I feel like they are, they feel, went on, they feel a little bit longer, which is like the impact. It's because again, they're not as tight. So I feel like they come down a little bit longer because again, they are stretchier. Opening it doesn't dig in at all. and is a little bit less of a lift less snug from impact and is higher rise than impact got that shading and still kind of like go into a different material like let me show you because i'm wearing mocha right now but again i feel like they just feel because they're stretchy i can pull them down more and they, they feel longer but again as you can see like i'm not getting any camel toe you've got a lot of crotch room they come up higher rise than impact like past my belly button so the longer torso girlies will probably love these. And then you've got a little bit more room in the glute area than impact. Because again, these are longer glute friendly. The fine sticker somewhere, I just can't find it right now. It's probably in a suitcase somewhere. But even though there's like not, not as much lift as impact, they are still very, very flattering especially to some other scrunch shorts I have because they still have that contouring all the way around the glutes. Still got scrunch to go in the cheeks, but I would love, love, love for them to bring these out in a 6.5 because as you see, the biker shorts, you're able to pull up the fabric and get that line right here, that like dramatic line that like gives that under glute fold and makes them look bigger. Whereas with the 4.5, you really can't do that because the inseam is literally at the end of your butt cheek where the fold is and so it, does, it kind of hides it whereas with the bikers you're still able to have that link while pulling up the fabric so again i know the cycle shorts were too long that's why I'm, i feel like a 6.5 would truly be the sweet spot and would love 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 to see that come in the dynamic because bro these are still very flattering they're good for people who maybe don't want as much lift but i feel like again i I just think a 6.5 would just be the perfect in between from the cycle to the 4.5. Still keeping both, like I know a lot of people love the 4.5, but again, I think it is so important for a brand to have multiple inseam options for people who are taller, want more coverage, or maybe don't like when their shorts roll. But we'll do the sticker test. Again, a most sheer color, but it's still not that bad. Like you can slightly see it. So if you have a tattoo, you might slightly see it. If you don't have a tattoo, go commando or wear a new thong. You're gonna be fine in these 100%. I really wouldn't stress it. But as you can see, they do roll. I also wanted to show the difference from the impact to the dynamic 4.5. So waistband. Again, it's a little bit shorter, but the rise is shorter. Like I just think the waistband height right here is quite similar, but 
the rise in itself is still shorter on impact like the crotch area here's they're both 4.5 but again i think because it is like tighter and just the design in general that it it looks poof, quite short um but yeah dang i'm dying for impact bikers 6.5 and all my money's gone. The girlies are gonna rally. But yeah, I just feel like Dynamic 6.5 also would slay. Like, the booty would just look so dang good. And I loved the cycle shorts. I get that the cycle shorts were definitely probably too long for most people, because they were like eight inches. They were really long. So if they're shorter, they're gonna be like capris. Um, but the 6.5 is the sweet spot. And I feel like I am a 6.5 girly, so here's my petition for 6.5 dynamic. Cause I would wear the crap out of that. Especially on days where I want to be a little bit more comfortable and like maybe wear them like all day. Because again, the impact is quite snug. So I usually only wear them like at the gym. Although I will say when in Scotland and when I travel, I do wear my impact casually around and about. But yeah, but still, if you want a little bit more comfortable of a lounge, while your booties still look good, the dynamic is definitely that. And then just having the bikers. Because imagine the Mocha 6.5 dynamic, or even Impact, but right now we're on the topic of dynamic. With this, it's giving Princess Diana. And I freaking love it. Like, imagine, because like 6.5 is a little bit longer. You don't have to worry. Because like, if I wear the 4.5 with this, it's gonna probably look like I have nothing underneath. Whereas with the 6.5, you'd still be able to see it like right here. That's usually where 6.5 hit me. So not too long, like the perfect length. And again, you can roll them up if you want them a little bit shorter, give that under glute fold. But that would be so cute. Whereas with this, I look naked. But if I had that extra length, then you've got a cute Princess Diana outfit going on. So I'm like, Oh, I'm itching for for Define to do a 6.5. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all are 6.5 girlies and if y'all would buy 6.5 Impact or Dynamic. Let me know. Again, we have the cranberry. We'll do the sticker test. Waistband a little bit shorter, but still comes quite high on me because again, I have a short torso. Olive, which is the green, as you can see the booty contouring. With the Dynamic, I find Dynamic and Impact to be sweat proof. Just, again, this material is very, very sturdy. It is good for high intense workouts. I've never noticed sweat stains on any of my Dynamic or Impact, to be honest. Four bras. These are called the Dynamic Twist Bras, I believe. Different from the previous Dynamic bra. So this is the previous Dynamic bra. It just looks like this. A little bit longer, removable cups. And then the back is strappy like this. I like this one, I get no gaping, it's longer line. And then the new one is shorter line and then kind of has this like, how do you even describe? A strap that goes across the neck, kind of like a halter, but then two straps 
that kind of loop through this. Very cute back, very dainty. I like the shorter line. And again, I'm IBTC, so this works for me. It's low support. They wish there were more BTC options for the girlies who do need more support. But I will say they have improved massively with because some of their impact bras, their other bras, gape so bad. I get no gaping in this. Um, it feels a little bit more true to size, like nothing feels too loose, nothing feels too tight. So I would say you can stay true to size in this. It doesn't feel as big as like their impact bras. Again, I can bend over and I'm not getting like gaping. I feel comfortable, but again, it's still low support. All it has is a seam at the bottom and it's a thinner seam removable cups scoop neckline and then the back looks like this so again you've got kind of like a halter neck but then it straps back here that loop through you could make it a halter if you wanted by cutting this off but i think i'm going to leave it there for extra support but again nothing digs in and then you right here kind of like twists so a little Tiny detail, but very, very cute. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It doesn't roll or anything like that. You can slightly see the cup pad through it. Um, so sometimes what I'd probably do is take out the cup pad from the insert and then just put it in through like the double layer. You can slightly see the round cups. Good side boob cover. I have it in the olive. And again, I got extra small in all of them. I definitely don't think I would want a small because then I think the straps would be too big, but I don't feel like I need to size down. You've got the Define logo right here and then also on the side and then the Let Nobody Define You on the inside. The material is same as the leggings, 90% nylon, 10% elastane, so you don't have to worry about any sweat showing like right here or anything. I'm narrow chested as well and I normally have really bad gaping issues. No gaping in this. Very, very happy with the fit. It's very comfortable. But again, it's not something you're going to want to run in. But I feel confident doing upper body and lower body in this. Because even when I raise my arms, like it's not riding up. But again, keep in mind, I am smaller up top. So if you are larger, you might have that issue. But it doesn't feel like any second I raise my arms is just gonna slide up like it I'm not getting that at all again we have it in the cranberry so pretty and then you've got the twist back right there straps are not adjustable but I don't feel like I need to adjust them and then last we have navy so again this is what the straps look like So that is all of the new dynamic that is launching. I'll have the date on the screen along with the time zone so you don't miss out. And now we're gonna move quickly into what is already on the site but dropped and I wasn't able to review it is the limited edition birthday collection. So I don't think I've ever tried, wait, revive. But that was like the sweat shorts. Like I tried the revive when they had like the coral sweat shorts. Um, but that was like the only like sweat material I've tried from them. And so I wasn't sure what to really expect. And I was like very, very, very pleasantly surprised. Because I'm very picky I feel like when it comes to sweat sets. And these are insanely soft. Like the quality is there. But joggers, crew necks t-shirts and baby tees again all this is already on the website there's four colors heather gray white ash brown and navy i love the material it reminds me of abercrombie soft af soft fleece and even the outside is very very soft to the touch and thicker so it will keep you warm i mean it's not as thick as i would say lazuli's sweats their heavyweight sweats are unmatched if you want thick. These are a little bit thinner, but I would say thicker than like Buff Bunny threads, thicker than Alpha Elite. Normally I don't like an in-your-face logo like this, but I actually really like this. It's giving like college and I'm here for it. And again, I just am obsessed with the Princess Diana aesthetic when she wore the oversized crew and then the biker shorts. 
and this is exactly like, this is what it's giving and i love it i did size up to a medium i originally got a small which was still oversized but i think i just wanted a little bit more length because i do like mine quite big and long and so i did size up to a medium but they are already oversized so i think you can stick to your normal size and be fine and then we have the heather gray which has navy defined logo and now this one in college like the colors and if you pair it with even like honestly the colors are even going with this new dynamic if you pair it with the navy super cute navy hat super cute i would recommend washing maybe before wearing if you don't want it to transfer because some of the fluff does slightly transfer i wore my impact under the sweat and when i took them off there's a little bit but it wasn't like an insane amount where I had to change because there's sometimes where like I've worn shorts underneath taken out taken off like a black or navy pair and all you see is fluff so it wasn't that bad but I would still wash maybe before wearing something like that underneath just to help it's a medium thickness like it's not thin but it's not like thick thick but it still keeps me warm the outside is very soft I'm like is there a way to see the material 50% cotton and 50% polyester is the material. Ash brown. And then we have it in navy. Imagine it with the white impact. So cute. And then again, I believe the white is just white with navy font. It says define and then let nobody define you. Established 2021. And I would say this one isn't as soft as like the heather gray or ash brown. Again, it could just be because it's a darker color, so it went through a different dye process. And something about Heather Gray anyways is always just 10 times softer in any brand I try. Heather Gray is just usually always what I go for because I know it's going to be soft. And I got a medium. And then the joggers, I went back and forth with the joggers so many times. I got extra small, liked it, it felt oversized. But then I, as I got to thinking, I was like, and looking in like the product shots we took, or like the shots we took at like the birthday event, I was like, if I wash it, they might become, like if they shrink, then they're gonna be too tight. And so I figured if I wash these and dry them and they shrink a little bit, they'll be like perfect. So I ended up sizing up to a small, just because if again, if I wash them and they shrink a little bit, then I feel like they're gonna be the ideal fit. But they are insanely soft again reminds me of abercrombie soft af fabric it is softer than buff bunny threads uh, any of alpha elite sweats um not as um is it equal soft maybe equal softness to lazuli heavyweight but not as thick lazuli heavyweight's definitely thicker but i would say these are thicker than buff bunny threads thicker than alpha elite sweats um maybe same thickness as cloud but cloud has a more velvety feel to it but I got a small, this is the Heather Gray. And again, at first I was just kind of like unsure because of all the crotch fabric. But again, I can easily just like fold it over and that helps. And that way, if it were to shrink, I wouldn't be screwed because I was like, even though extra small was still oversized, it really gave me no room if I, like it shrunk, then it'd probably be shorter because again, it's um, 71.5, centimeters in the extra small and then when you size up you get an extra inch with each size so again i like a longer inseam so sizing up does give you that longer inseam of wearing like joggers sweatpants for winter over my shorts i do wish these were straight leg though i think i wear straight leg more than joggers but they're still very comfortable and i know i'll be living in them um but I'm 5'4", and they come all the way down. Got a drawstring so you can make the waist tighter if you want. Um, pockets, the logo on the side. Baby tees and t-shirts. They are more like crop tops in my opinion. I do wish they were longer. Um, because for me, a baby tee hits like right at my belly button, like meet and greet length. Whereas this is definitely cropped so it hits above my belly button still very very cute though it's like what 100 percent cotton and 
94% cotton and 6% elastane. And then you've got the cute little Define logo. This is very in trend right now. I feel like even Honor Active did like, kind of like a varsity looking drop like this with, yeah, but I just feel like I would have loved to have seen it come like right here. And I guess I can kind of like stretch it out if I wanted. Yeah, oh shoot, I can. But I still wish it would have been a little bit longer to make it like a true baby tee. Cause now I feel like it's just gonna look a little stretched out. I don't know. But I really like them. It's a soft cotton. I'm a little bit stretchier because of that extra elastane. Not, it's not like 100% cotton. I got extra smalls to make it again fitted. Well, this is the navy. They have it in white. They have it in ash brown. I got normal oversized tees. I just like pump covers that have the Define logo. They are unisex fit, so if you want your boyfriend to have a matching set with you, you can get them for your boyfriend. That's everything for this Define review. I hope this review was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments, and I'll try my best to get back to you ASAP, or shoot me a DM on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Again, Code Bailey will save you 10% off at checkout. Does help support me while saving you money. If you do use it, make sure to enter my monthly giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.